y'all welcome to today's vlog so it is 10 44 and Angela sent me a text I'm gonna leave a link up here to her channel or down here I don't know but um that the sewing machine that she uses is on sale right now at Joanne's and it's faster what where's your shoes Oh. It's a singer and it's not all that pretty, but we don't need pretty. Go ahead. Um, so we're going to go and get that. And I totally burnt my forehead up here. I curl my bangs under and then I like, I don't know what happened. In. <sighs> uh. Thank you, Susan. What can I get for you? Hey, I'd like to get a medium iced coffee with just caramel swirl. Anything else? A medium iced coffee with uh, butter pecan and two cream. All right. A strawberry frosted sprinkled donut. Okay. And a coffee roll. Anything else? That's all, thank you. Go on, thank you. I found me a new sewing chair. Uh -oh. Get back up that way. I bought my machine. I didn't vlog in there because her music was so loud. And they had inventory going on. That's probably why the music was so loud. You think so? I don't know, but yeah, you think about it. That music was pretty loud. And they should have turned it down because if people are counting, they want to. Yeah. I don't know. You're counting away. You don't want that loud music. But I bought the machine. I got to make three ribbon trims. <gasps> oh. And she just posted a video. Who did? Angela, so I can watch that when I get home. So we're, we're home and this is the sewing machine I purchased from Joann's. It was a hundred and I think fifty-nine dollars. I don't have my receipt. It came up to 180 total, but I bought this because I had a 50% off coupon, which is another tender touch. So I actually have two of these and then one roll I just opened because I was out. So it's always good to stock up and have back back up. But when I was there, I was like, I had a 50% off. I could have bought two of these, but they didn't even have two, even if I wanted to. But I had a 50% off coupon, which I left in the car. But then I checked my phone, and I had one on my phone, so I just used the one on my phone. So, oh, and somebody said something about how I can have my husband use my coupons too. Um, I don't know because they say it has to have like. If I use my coupon and I try to use it again, I don't know. Maybe it's just that one time. It was like at a different um, Joanne's though. But I tried to use a coupon that they sent me. This was before, I think it was before the app though. So that might be something that they have changed. Because um, I didn't have the app and it's when they'd send them to your email. And so they told me as long as the numbers were different on the bottom that I could use different ones. And so now, um, I get them on my phone on the app, and I just go off the app. So maybe I can use it more than once, because I know sometimes too, like when you get the little 50% off, I got one today. With a receipt, they print one off, it's like a Catalina kind of type thing, um, that if you use it, like I have used it before, and they'd scan it, and they'd hand it back to me, like I can use it again. So I don't know. So maybe that is true. So, um, which is good to know because then when they have 60% off, I can get, you know, I can get one. My husband can get one. Sterling can get one. <laughs> but this is it. And, um, like I said, my friend Angela, she sent me a message this morning and she said that this is the machine that she uses for her ribbon trims. Because I was, we were talking about ribbon trims 
messaging about my ribbon trims and I was saying how, you know, I was, I actually did it on one, two, um, where I used less, mainly I was just sick of sewing, honest, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I was sick of sewing, and so I cut like a yard and a half off the ribbon trim, and you know what, when I strung it on there, you couldn't even really tell a difference, and actually, they actually left me like a really good review and told me that my ribbon trim was really full, so then I'm like, well, maybe I'm using too much ribbon, which, I mean, ribbon trims is all about preference it's how full. some people don't like them that full some people like them full and some people to me if they're too full it seems like it weighs it down and it's just kind of like an overkill situation where you just have too much fluff um and then if of course if you don't have enough ribbon it's going to be very see-through and stuff and you don't want that but anyway um and i was also watching sonia from sonia's quilts the other day I think it was an older video and she was talking about sewing machines and how she went up to um, buying a big industrial fast sewing machine because she was burning up the motors in her sewing machines like she got through them so fast so it was just worth it for her to buy to invest that money and buy a big machine so that got me thinking and I've had my sewing machine gosh for six years maybe five or six years I don't remember um, but the one I had before it was like an $80 machine and then that one I think was 200 and something the one which is the SQ 9000 the brothers SQ 9000 is that what it is I think so I don't know I put it in the case um but that machine only stitches 850 stitches per min minute and then this one is 1,100 stitches per minute. And that's what sold me. Because she sent me a link. She's like, that sewing machine I have is on sale. And I was like, really? So then um, my husband, he was getting ready to go. And he was going over to the computer guy. And so I ran out there. I was like, hey. I was like, the sewing machine that Angela uses is on sale. He was like, well, how much is it on sale for? I was like, normally it's $2.99 and it's on sale for $1.59 or something like that. He was like, oh, did you plan on buying one anyway? I said, yeah. And he said, well, if you get, jump in the shower and by the time I get back, you'll be ready to go, we we'll go get it. So I'm like, you don't have to tell me twice. Um, but yeah, it's just something that I really wanted to invest in, like in faster machinery. Because honestly, I got a faster embroider machine. I'm so happy with it. Get me this faster. Oops. Sewing machine. This one's heavy. Oh. Heavier than my other one, I think. Mm. Can you guys smell that? <laughs> Where's the paperwork? Oh, it comes with the cover. Not that I ever, ever use a cover. Because we don't cover things up around here. But, and Angela said, haven't you never been so excited to make a ribbon trim before? And I was like, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm going to time myself. Let's see. I never had a singer. I never owned a singer before. So I said that to my husband. He said, honey, you married a singer. Ha ha. Ha ha. He used to sing in a band. So. What? All right. Is that water boiling yet? Making the girls mac and cheese. to hook everything up. I think I pretty much know. Just like any other sewing machine, right? You got a foot pedal and then you got a power cord, right? More power.
Yeah, I get too close here. So this one is the foot pedal, which I think I'll go back the same way I did the other one. Oh, they run off one. Oh, look, cool. So the power. See, the other one was like I had it hooked there, and then the other, the power cord, I had it hooked up from the bottom. So let's see. I hope this is going to work out for me. Let me get it set. Okay. So what I don't like is that the foot pedal and the power cord is connected to the same thing. And so when I drop it down behind, I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. So I drop it down behind and then I hook to the outlet, which is over there. And then this, it's not long enough to fit where I need it to fit. I'll show you guys. So there it is. Unless I want to drive like that. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do it this way. I'll have to come this way and then plug it in. It's plugged in right there. Don't mind the mess. Um, these are some bins I keep fabric in. I put the other sewing machine in there, um, and then there's the other PE770, which I was going to put somewhere. Oh, I was going to put it in a closet. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And then the power cord used to run the power to both sewing machines and the... Um, P770s, but like I said, I haven't been using them. I've only been running this guy, so I don't know. But I'm gonna have to run this this way unless I drill a hole in my table, which isn't gonna happen. But, oh, and this is the serger that was in that thing I took out of that used to be in that case. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I bought the serger in that case. I bought that at um, the Goodwill for $15. I mean, the case alone is worth 15 bucks to me, but it came with surgery, so. To be quite honest with you, this cord is not very long at all. Look at that. I mean, this one probably has a longer cord than that one does. And this is just, yeah, look at all that. And this is like so singer hey how about a longer foot pedal cord I mean maybe a foot if you would have given me a foot more it would have worked perfect so now I gotta have cords hanging down here and that's gonna suck Jiminy crickets anyway hope this thing's fast what is it boiling Okay, is the macaroni in it? Well, then it's not done. Hey guys, sorry, weird angle. So, um, my husband went to work and then I had to go up and make the girls some lunch. So I just went and did that real quick. And then I ate a little bit too. We just had, um, Paw Patrol macaroni and cheese. So now, Strolly's watching Journey for a few while I'm down here. Um, she needs to finish some schoolwork. Um, she just has to do two spelling tests and a little bit of reading in her, her history and her science and then her math. And other than that, everything else is pretty, pretty good. Oh. I mentioned her grammar. She's got to do her grammar, too. I think. No, maybe she already did her grammar. I don't know. But she did a ton of work, and um, she's trying to get everything squared away so she don't have to do work when she comes back from Michigan. So hopefully she'll be at the end of um, she'll be out of school. I'm sorry. I'm multitasking here. Reading messages. Somebody's like, uh, what gets me is when people message you yeah you're in Connecticut you're fine honey um, but they'll be like can I get this by this date and you're like yeah it'll ship out this day and then you find out they're in Canada or they're in a different country and you're like well shoot you I'm gonna get it now 
you should have mentioned that but um my goal today is to i have 23 orders as of right now friday uh, may 17th 155 i have 23 open orders um two two one two two of them are double orders um etsy will just take it and just be like this is one order and if it's two shirts it's one order and um somebody ordered two patches and somebody ordered two hero shirts the hero shirts i ordered today um uh they're boys they wanted size six so i ordered those off arb blanks and actually they shipped it out already which i'm thankful for because i want these shirts so hopefully i'll get them monday and I can get them done Monday and then go out the door. My plan is to try to get all this work done. Um, so my plan is to get all these 23, 24, 25, 25 orders done. Um, my goal today is the three patches that I have to make and seven shirts. Um, I was kind of iffy because I didn't. I thought I'd start earlier. So now I'm not sure if I'll even get those done. But I also want to make some ribbon trims. My plan was to do one. But since I got this, I'm going to see how long it takes. And maybe I might get two, if not three. I got to make a sunshine, a vampirina, and this one, which is a pebbles from Flintstones. Um, and then some of these shirts I am waiting for to come in like I mentioned before that Amanda um, sent me some shirts I bought some shirts from her actually and so I think they'll be in tomorrow and then I have another ARB blanks order that should come in tomorrow hopefully because um, it was shipped out Thursday as well so we will see and get some of these shirts a lot of them are set for size six and I don't I think I have like one or two size sixes but I'm going to see how long it takes me to make this trim trim. I'm setting this machine up right now. I'm doing a patch. I'm going to do all three patches right now. That way they are done. And I really don't have to worry about that much. So. <laughs> out from here so I just put it back in there and you're good and then I sewed like that much and it was all jacked up <laughs> so I had to re-thread it and then cut all the thread there's still a few little particles I was using my little brush to kind of get Is and I can't wait till we go to Michigan.
Hey guys, so I'm working on my second room and trim. I'm this far away from being done with the channel. And then the ribbons, the ribbons go really fastly. Fastly? Fast? Anyway. <laughs> um, but I was having an issue, and I still am. Like my, my thread likes to come out of the little, maybe I've got it threaded wrong. I don't know. But do I? Like the thread comes out of here. I put this thing on there to keep my thread from bouncing around and it comes here and it comes out here. It keeps coming out here which messes messes the whole darn thing up. Um, I can close this a little bit. We've got in the night garden going out there and it's pretty loud just because over the machines. Okay, I'm going to turn it down in a minute. Journey is asleep. Um, right out there and Starly went to her grandma's house. Journey usually does take her nap. Okay. Um, anywhere between 3.30 and 4-ish and that's what time Starly usually leaves and sometimes it's like right before she leaves and then sometimes it's after she leaves. Anyway, um, I am getting ready. I've done three patches so far so now I'm getting already on my first shirt. Remember I want to get seven. I don't think I'm going to be able to but on a side note I did already finish one ribbon trim. I'm working on ribbon trim number two. And then I might actually do my third ribbon trim. But then I just got an order for a ribbon trim. And that order is like somebody messaged me. I was sewing this and they said something about Boss Baby Girl. And so I didn't really respond because I was in the middle of sewing. And then the next thing you know, they purchased um, Mash and the Bear and said Boss Baby. And they need it by this this coming weekend. Not this weekend, but you know. Anyway. So uh, I looked and I did find some a boss baby girl design. I don't know. There's two boss babies. There's one with the uh, um well it says blonde blo guys I can't even talk today. Blonde boss girl. And then they did have another one, but I was like, eee, because of the design was so, I'll show you a second, right here, which is, which I think that one is really cute, but like how much sewing is that? Cause it looks like she's out of a briefcase, sitting in a briefcase. So we got this for fabric, this for fabric, this for fabric, this, 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 this. It just seemed like a lot of steps. Let me see if I can put you down. We're gonna try to put it. They're all crooked. So, I was just, they said girl boss begging me. They probably want that one, which I do think that one is really cute. But, I was just trying to save myself a little bit of, you know, you know trouble as far as like fitting the design with a number all the colors all the steps involved but um i'm getting ready to work on oh that's cute just what i needed somebody showed um you know how you can leave a review they had their picture of what they stitched up with that design with the boss baby it was really cute maybe maybe but anyway i am going to um get this design going which is uh pebbles and then um, i'm gonna go grab me gatorade because i'm really thirsty we're just gonna have leftover um we had nachos last night chicken nachos and i'm just gonna have leftover like the chicken nacho stuff we're gonna make it into tacos or we can even have nachos again for that matter because we got the cheese and we got more chips and anyway it's just gonna be left over and we're not gonna go anywhere or go out or anything um, although you know it would be kind of nice to go on a date with my husband uh, we are going to a con tomorrow it's in Asheville so this is a 24 month too. I don't remember if they wanted a name. I know I did ask them if they wanted a name. Did I? Did I? Did I? I didn't mark it though. 
Myla. Yes, they wanted the name Myla. And I said I would get it out to them on Monday, but you know what? If I get it out tomorrow, that'll be just as good. Oops. Everybody, we're gonna go upstairs. We'll get to change, change our diaper. We're at Zaxby's because I don't feel like eating leftovers. We were going to have leftover chicken from chicken and nachos yesterday. But oh no. Oh no, Pam just couldn't have no leftovers, could she? It's like, no, I want shrimp. And my honey's like, honey, take, getting shrimp is going to take too long. So. No, it would have been takeout shrimp. You know it would have been nasty and cold by the time you got it. Your fries would have been soggy. And them hush puppies you love so much would have just been cold and hard. So, where is Zaxby's? Hey guys. So, I am now downstairs. It's 9 o'clock. You know, sometimes you your day just doesn't go as you planned. I did make three patches. I did make another a shirt that went with the, the pebbles um, that's done. I still have to make the hair bow. Hopefully I can get that hair bow done and get it shipped out in the morning. If not, it'll go out Monday like I told them, but at least that's done, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm working on a ribbon trim, but it was like, you know, Journey needed a bath, needed to be fed. Um, so I took her upstairs, changed her diaper, gave her a snack, gave her a bath. We went outside, waited for Daddy to come home. Daddy came home, and then I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like leftovers. So then we went to Zaxby's. We got something to eat. We ate it. We came home, um, called my mama. I talked to my mom for a while. And my husband, he washed both cars. And then the girls were out in the yard playing. And so I was like, okay, got to get downstairs. So came downstairs, got messages and emails and... Um, so I answered those and then Sterling yelled and they were soaking wet because they played in the sprinkler and they needed a bath so anyway long story short it's just nine o'clock so I'm not gonna get nowhere near seven orders done which is fine you know I was just trying to because I want to get these orders out and then I get an email and somebody's like I don't see my tracking number has this not been shipped yet they probably weren't like that but you know what I mean you know when you read emails like that you're like all snippy but <laughs> I'm like you just ordered five days ago now come on I know you know I am running like because my turnaround time is two weeks two weeks and right now my next order is due to ship out like next Friday or something like that it's kind of like nails on a chalkboard you know because you feel but, but that usually happens no matter what it usually happens for me um you can feel good about yourself you can be way ahead of the game you feel like man i'm getting these orders out and they're ahead of schedule and then there's still gonna be them people like where's my order at and you feel like that might not technically be how they are you know then i might not be all like where's my order at but as a seller you know how you kind of feel like that like they're kind of like hello where's my order at anyway i'm working on vampirina I've been trying forever to do this okay first of all I had to find the design then I had to figure it out um, adjust it to the right size cuz yeah now I gotta make sure I make it the right colors cuz I think I will this, line this one in hot pink but anyway let me see if I can get Vampirina done and work on this ribbon trim hey guys so look what I just found <laughs> Some gadgets <laughs> it was in this little compartment um i was like maybe i don't have this thing threaded correctly you know yeah 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 and um so i decided to watch a video on youtube and she's threading and she's like put your spool cap on i was like i didn't get a spool cap because i know i'm going to get a lot of comments i do know i'm using embroidery thread <laughs> Doing the name. 
um, yeah, so I know people are going to be like, that's because you're using embroidery thread. Yeah, I know I am. So I thought, yeah, this will help tremendously. <laughs> hey guys, so this is what I've got done, which is, I got three patches that I wanted to get done. Um, these two go with the two ribbon trims I made, which are over there. Had it on the wrong settings. Anyway, so then I did this one, which was just a number applique, which are pretty simple. But I do have to rehoop. That's one thing I don't like is I do have to rehoop for my name, so that does take extra time. But once I get my um, bigger hoop, I'll probably order it. Mm, I don't know yet. I still haven't ordered my thread, my bobbins. I still have to place that order too. That's like a hundred and something dollars that I have worth of thread. Anyway, and I just bought a sewing machine, so funds are a little tight, so. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go upstairs. And in this, they didn't want no name. They just wanted number seven in the rainbow. No name. So not bad. I got four shirts. I wanted to get seven, so. It'll be all right. And then I did make two ribbon trims. I planned on making one today. I probably would have made another one, but like I said, you know, things never go as you plan them. So I'm tired. It's, it's actually uh, about quarter to 12. So I need to go upstairs. I need to put um, the bows on these ribbon trims and make the hair bows and they're done. So. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.